Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting off a weekend vlog because I haven't vlogged in a while and I've been really trying not to work on the weekends and vlogging to me feels like fun. It doesn't really feel like work but I don't have a lot of computer work to do, which is what I mean. Like, I don't have a lot of editing to do, so we're just gonna have a fun weekend, and I'm gonna bring you along with me. Today, I am going to the flea market with my friend Lily, because I need to find some outfits for Coachella, because I am going to Coachella. I'm so excited about it. Um, last time I showed myself putting sunscreen on on camera, everyone told me I didn't put on enough, so this time I'm making sure that you see it. I'm wearing a lot of sunscreen, I promise. This is the sunscreen I've been loving lately from Supergoop. It is a watery lotion, so I feel like it just blends in really well. Like, you honestly can't tell that I have sunscreen on. It doesn't have a white cast or anything like that, and I just, I love the texture. Now I'm just gonna put on a little bit of concealer. I'm going very light on makeup and everything today because I'm not really, in the mood. This is a casual affair. I'm just getting some coffee and going thrifting. My two favorite activities. My skin has also been really dry lately, so I've just been trying to really focus on skincare and not really makeup. Like underneath my eyes in this section, I've been having peeling, but at the same time, I'm still getting a couple breakouts. So I just, I know I need to get a facial and talk to someone about it because estheticians know what they're doing. I'm also using my new vlog camera, so let me know how you like it. I am curious to see how it does with being out in public because it's very portable, so I'm hoping it'll be great for days like today as well as Coachella. Like, I want a camera that I can bring around with me so that I can get more footage when I'm out doing fun things like going to the Rose Bowl and other thrifting type trips. Um, so, fingers crossed. Now releasing the bangs, which I just straightened this morning. There you have it. To show you guys my outfit before I head out, I am wearing these canvas overalls from Everlane, and then my shirt is from Ghani, obviously, and then my sunglasses are from Lexola. These I get questions about all the time. I love them, I just think the color is really fun. And then the sneakers I'm wearing today are the Oka High Top from Karayuma. And Karayuma is actually the sponsor of today's video. They're a super cool company. They are the first certified B Corp skate shoe company. Seriously incredible. And if you're a fan of skate shoes, I know I personally grew up in Orange County around skate culture and I will always love a classic skate shoe. I think these are just so cute and and they go with everything. They're such a casual, easygoing look. But these old school sneakers get an ethical revamp by being constructed with natural rubber, organic cotton, recycled plastic, and Mamona oil and cork insoles. They are completely vegan and also super comfortable. I feel like this shoe is just such a timeless classic. I grew up wearing skate shoes all throughout high school, even middle school. And so they just have a very nostalgic feel for me. And it's a style that I feel like I will always wear, you know, whether you are a skater or not. The Oka sneaker is available in both a low and high top, as well as different colors, patterns, and materials like suede, leather, or canvas. I am personally wearing the black canvas Oka high top, but I really don't think you can go wrong with these. They're crafted from high-end raw materials, have a lightweight cushion and a perfectly weighted rubber sole, making them super comfortable for whatever activities you're doing. Karayuma also plants a pair of trees for every pair of shoes purchased in the Brazilian rainforest. And if you place an order, it will come with carbon neutral shipping and recycled packaging. So if you've been looking for a sustainable yet comfortable and cool sneaker, definitely check out Karayuma. I'll have them linked in the description if you wanna shop them. I am now ready to go. I am bringing a quick snack with me because I'm meeting Lily for coffee at Stereoscope. I've never been there before. I'll be sure to show you what it looks like, but I have to eat before having any kind of caffeine, so. Hi, Lily. You guys are just too much. Say hi, <laughs>
We finished up at the flea. It was really fun. I will show you what I got when I get home. It is hard to vlog there when I have Sammy, but obviously I wanted to bring her. But it's starting to get hot again, so probably at the next one I won't be able to bring her. But I got a lot of stuff for Coachella, probably too much. For lunch, I just made some potato tacos. I'm shaking from having caffeine with not enough food today. So I am very excited. If you've never tried a potato taco, you have to. Delicious. I am gonna take a quick nap because I am honestly so drained from being in the sun, walking, being outside. I'm such an introvert. That's like enough socialization for me for probably the whole weekend. I might see a friend tomorrow for coffee. I'm just gonna roast all of the veggies that I have in my fridge pretty much because these are getting a little wrinkly and just need to be cooked. I know they're fine. I'm just gonna roast them all and then throw them into some pasta. Very low effort, but delicious meal. I ended up just making roasted veggies and pesto pasta. I just didn't show it because my camera died because this camera has a really short battery life, um, but I can't return it. So <laughs> I'm just gonna buy some more batteries. That's a me problem. Good morning, it's Sunday and it is 10 a.m. I have coffee plans at 11.30 with my friend Delaney. I don't know where we're going yet, but the coffee shop I went to yesterday, Stereoscope in Echo Park, one of the best chai lattes I have had in LA by far. So I'm excited hopefully to try a new place again today. There's just like endless coffee shops in LA and it's good to expand. I tend to go to the same ones. Currently in sweatpants, I just walked Sammy. I'm also still wearing these shoes. Super comfortable, great for walking, and I feel like they make sweatpants look more cool. I'm just doing a mushroom omelet. I wish I had tomatoes and spinach, but we are working with what we have. Oh my God, my sister is FaceTiming me. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Aww. You sound sick. I know. Right? Thank you. Um, okay, I got this dress for $10. I was like, even if I don't wear that, there's such a great summer piece. Mom, you're so cute. We're having a good outfit day. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wear this dress because it's just really easy, you know, throwing on a dress. And then I have my Oxfords on, and then I'm gonna bring this jacket because it's cold right now, but I know it'll get warmer. So um, it'll be good for morning. And then I also have another reusable tote as always because we are going to Larchmont, which is a whole street of like coffee shops and breakfast places, but there also is a farmer's market on Sundays and it's Sunday, so I'll bring this just in case I need to pick up anything. Um, so yeah, there's my outfit. Now I'm gonna go see Delaney and I am just so excited. Now what everyone has been waiting for, the thrift haul. So in total, I got eight pieces and I would say about six to seven of those are for Coachella. So they're maybe a little bit more out there, um, but I really wanted to get stuff that was unique, that I could wear again, and also that was comfortable. That is my number one tip if you're going to a festival. Wear things that are comfortable. You're walking for like 12 hours straight. Um, but I also just got a couple pieces that I know I'll wear that were really cute and caught my eye. So this is the first thing that I saw when we went to the flea and I immediately had to get it. 
It is this black halter dress with a butterfly pattern. It is vintage. The brand is Hourglass. And this immediately, I, I knew it would fit and thought it would be great for summer. So this one probably won't be worn to Coachella, but I could bring it to Palm Springs. I also got this amazing white tiered skirt. I have a dress with a similar skirt to this and it's one of my favorite pieces in my closet. So I knew I would wear a skirt version and I think this would be super cute and comfortable for a festival, but I also know that I will totally style this throughout the summer. And it was $22 originally from Old Navy. And then to go with that skirt, but I think it would also look really good with denim jeans or shorts is this green linen top. You guys know I love green and linen is so comfortable and breathable for the summer. So I immediately was drawn to this piece. This might be my favorite thing I found. I just know how special it is. And that is this denim vest, which is actually an orange tab Levi's, which is really rare. And this guy said it was from his own personal collection and it fits perfectly like a little top which I think is super cute, again, with jeans, with that white flowy skirt, with a midi skirt. It's very versatile. You can even just wear it open and like layer it with the jacket. I think it's really cool. And this was probably the most expensive. This was $50, but like I said, it's rare and freaking cute. I love it. In the clips earlier, you saw Lily trying on a poncho and we ended up finding a green one a little bit later. And for some reason, I just had to have this. I think it could be really fun for Coachella as a layering piece, but it's actually adjustable, so it could be a skirt as well. Picture it as a beach cover-up with a black bikini as opposed to like a poncho, and I feel like it can be seen a little bit more modern, um, but it also has little flowers on the tie. I also got this black maxi skirt that has a slit on the side. It really just is a black tube. It doesn't look that exciting, but it fits like a glove. And the brand is actually Tiger Mist and it's marked in XL, but it fits me pretty snugly. So I don't know what's going on here, but I know that this is something I would wear for a long time. And it's surprisingly well made. And then the last piece I have to show you guys is this hand crocheted sweater. At least I think it's hand crocheted. It's brown, it's holy, it's cute. I've been really liking the loose knit trend, like this over a white slip dress or even like a tank top and jeans. I think it would be really cute and I know we're going into summer, but I still had to have it and it's a neutral color, so I, I don't think this will go out of style really. There is one more piece that I thrifted, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wear it at Coachella or for my birthday because it's very much a statement. So stay tuned for that. And if I don't end up wearing it, I'll show it in a vlog. But um, yeah, that's everything. Now we're gonna go for a walk um, because she woke up from her nap and it is beautiful outside, but I think I might change out of my dress. <laughs> she's also getting a haircut on Wednesday. If you're noticing, she's a little on the hairier side, but I think it's cute. Now I'm going to make dinner with what I have in the fridge. I was thinking on my walk about what I could do with my leftover roasted vegetables. And I think I'm gonna put them on a cauliflower pizza crust with some delicious Miyoko's mozzarella. If you haven't tried this one, it's my favorite for pizza. I'm pretty much just gonna make dinner and then have a really nice relaxing shower and edit for the rest of the evening. I already know that I kind of undercooked this, but it still tastes good, okay? It is now time for my skincare routine. I definitely got some makeup remover in my eyes in the shower. I always just use a cleansing balm in the shower, and then when I get out of the shower, I use this Youth to the People Cleanser. It is my favorite. And then I use a niacinamide serum. I've been using this one from Naturium. Naturium? No clue how to pronounce that. Because I ran out of my one from The Ordinary. I have like a little bit left, but I actually really prefer the texture of this one. I've been keeping my skincare routine really simple lately because 
I was having breakouts and dry spots at the same time, which is like very confusing. Every three days I use this daily acid toner. I also really like the one from Youth to the People. This one might be easier to get your hands on. The other one I got at a skincare place. And then my all time favorite moisturizer is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Moisturizer. And I know this is expensive, but like it is the perfect gel cream texture for my oily dry skin type. And I love that this has a pump, so it's very hygienic. Anything in a pot, I just try and stay away from because it usually breaks me out. Usually for my bangs, I will blow dry them straight if I'm about to leave the house and I just took a shower, but it's nighttime, so I'm just gonna let them dry natural because I'll have to restyle them in the morning regardless because that is just life with bangs. I also recently tried this Tan Lux Gradual Self Tanning Lotion, and I have never in my life used a self tanner because I just find them very intimidating, and I have had no problem embracing being pale, but as I've looked back at old photos and seen myself tan in the summer, I was like, wow, I really can get tan when I'm actively laying in the sun. Um, but I don't like to do that anymore. I really don't enjoy it. I find it really boring to tan and it's also not good for your skin. So I tried out this tanner because I got it in a PR big mail kit at some point. Everything I know about self tanner, just like that it smells, that it's streaky, that it looks orange, none of that was true with this one and it applied really smoothly and looked incredibly natural. I just used like one coat on my legs as a test and it looked fantastic. The only places that it streaked a little bit were on my feet and I think that's just because I didn't prep because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to self tanner. But I just wanted to say if you also are fair skinned and you have kind of like an olive yellow undertone, this probably will also work very well for you. We're going very subtle around here. I just wanna look not like a vampire, you know what I mean? Because I've gotten those comparisons. I am now going to go to bed. I had such a relaxing Sunday and I did end up getting some work done. I know I didn't show that, but I do have a video due tomorrow and I just needed to type up the description box and make a thumbnail. And you know, I honestly, I love what I do, so working doesn't feel like work, um, and I'm I'm just so grateful for that, honestly. Okay, it's bedtime around here. 